Welcome. In this video tutorial, we'll be going through the start screen. Uh, and this is where you create a new connection. This is where you can tag templates as favorites. Uh, and even if you're a Design Studio user, be able to create new applications. So let's go ahead and click on start. And if this is the first time and you don't have any connections, you'll see a screen like this. And let's go ahead and create a new connection. We're going to create one for Salesforce today. The connection name is up to you. It's how to best identify the environment that you're connecting to. So it could be something like production. And then you'll decide if it's a login.salesforce or a test.salesforce. You can even come in here and type in your custom URL as well. So let's just go ahead and use login. And we'll go ahead and say add. And this is where you'll get brought to Salesforce's login screen. And we'll click login. You might get a verification code. And now we've just created our first connection. Um, one thing to note is you do need the Valorx managed package installed in the Salesforce environment that you're connecting to before creating this connection. So we've now created a connection. The below screen, because I've connected to an environment that already has templates or applications created, I'm going to see a list of them right here. If this was a brand new environment where no applications have been created, this whole bottom section would be blank. A um, couple of things in this top section, auto connect. If you toggle this on, every single time you open up uh, Valorx, you'll automatically be connected. And if you want to log out right here as well. Now, a couple things to kind of point out is this section right here is going to tell you which are your active connections. So you can have more than one connection. So let's go ahead and create one more. So you can now see I have two connections that are active. I can toggle between those connections and I can see the applications that are in each one of these. Um, and I can also create new apps for each of these as well. One other thing I want to point out is um, the ability to promote apps. So once you've created your applications, um, this bottom section right here, you need to have at least two active connections. You can come in here and click promote. And this is where you can identify which environment is your source and where's your target. So I can actually change this around. And if I wanted to come in here, it's as simple as this. And I could actually migrate these four applications from my demo environment to my production environment. And if I click on promote, this will actually create applications or if they already exist in our production environment, they'll go ahead and update them. A couple things I want to point out in here is against each application, you have the ability to jump right into runtime to test and run the application. You can toggle this application as a runtime favorite. And then in your favorites drop down here, you'll be able to see this list as well. And you can do this for as many applications as you would like. Who last modified the application? The origin. So if somebody's creating these uh, through the regular Design Studio, creating brand new, it'll be local. The other one is store. So if you're downloading an app from our Valorx app store, this will say store right here. If you want to jump into design mode, so you want to make further edits to an application, add objects, add fields, format things differently, you can jump into the Design Studio. If you want to tag an application as a favorite for Design Studio, so you'll see this in the same dropdown in favorites. You'll see your runtime favorites as well as your design studio favorites. If you want to clone an application, so let's say you want to create a second version or a slightly different version for a different business unit, you can clone an application and then jump into design studio on that cloned application and make your changes. And then app admin, which we'll jump into. And by the way, these four columns are only visible to users that have the design studio access and that's controlled in Salesforce. So let's just look at app admin. Couple of things to point out in here. Again, you're seeing the origin. If you would like to rename your application, you can go ahead and click on this and rename it right here. If you would like to delete an application, you can do it right here as well. Couple pieces of information, it's gonna tell you when this was created, last modified by, and then access control. So once you create an application, you may want to control who actually has access to this particular application. So here's where you can control by user or by profile. So I can go ahead and type in a user's name or I can go ahead and type in a profile. 
and I can assign these profiles and these users. If you want to add things in bulk, you can actually do it right here as well. So if you have a list of you know, 20 or 30 different users or more, you can just copy and paste them right here. And then the last thing in here is the Valorx App Store. So let's say you create an application and you want to post it or publish it to the Valorx App Store. Here is where you would go through that process. And then finally you'd submit it. Let's go ahead and click close. Now um, let's go ahead and create a new app together. So we'll go right here. And the app name is the logical name of what this application is. So it could be um, manager forecasting um, by sales reps. So let's say it's an application for managers to be able to see their team of their users of sales reps, and their opportunities that they're managing. Now you have a choice. If you don't already have something in Excel, you want to start from a blank Excel workbook and go through the mapping of identifying your objects and your fields, you would choose new template. You also see the different file types that are supported here. If you already have something in Excel, maybe you already have some formatting, maybe you already have some formulas, some VBA, some pivot tables, you would choose existing template and you would just go ahead and browse for that file. And then when you start your design studio mode, it will be from that existing workbook with all the formatting and everything else that came in with it. And you would just go ahead and map through the design studio. So let's go ahead and just say new template, click on create. Now, this is creating this application inside Salesforce. So where these Excel workbooks now live, they live as records in Salesforce so that users, every single time they're accessing it, will be pulling it down from Salesforce. And then you can take a look at our other videos. This is where you'll go through your data modeling, your mapping, your workflow, and so on. Thank you for watching today's video.